Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on your bell notifications when you do so. That way you get notified when I post the video. And also check out my other 90 videos that I have out on my channel. I get a lot of questions as far as, hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? Majority of the time the video's out there, so definitely uh, check those out. So today I'm showing you how to bleed your N54 engine coolant system. This also applies to the N52, so if you want to do that. And it's very, it's very easy procedure, mostly because you just uh, hook on a battery charger, uh, do a little kind of step-by-step -step thing in the cabin here. You're really off and running and then you're good to go. So this will apply to if you changed out your water pump, changed out your thermostat, say you have a coolant leak in one of the mini hoses that's on this, on this engine here. You want to bleed it out so it gets obviously all the air out. And then once you're done with the bleeding procedure and you want to unscrew the cap, just check your levels and most likely you will have to add some if it was able to get some out. So definitely have some coolant, which is a 50-50 mix of distilled water with the BMW OE blue coolant. If you need some coolant, Armando will get it for you. So definitely check out that video too. I'm going to post that up at the top. So let's go ahead and jump in the car right now. And I'm going to just show you just that. So I got the battery charger hooked up ready to go i just put on a slow amp charge uh, just so just so it doesn't drain your battery uh, you definitely don't want to do that now if your battery is really strong and it's fairly new you can do it without it but why even do that just hook up a charger on it that way you're good to go so let's go ahead and go in here and i'm going to show you just what to do all right so jumping in the cabin here got the battery charger on so what you're going to want to do Let's go ahead and put the key on. Don't start the car, just fully all the way. Go ahead and turn your heating settings all the way to 84, all the way across. Fan at the lowest setting right there. So once you got that going, you're gonna hold down the gas pedal for about 12 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so release it off. I know you can't hear it, but my water pump is currently running. So let's go over here. Let's go ahead and turn these lights off. So it's gonna cycle on and off for 12 minutes. So go ahead and start your timer. As soon as you, as soon as you hear it, you'll start hearing it run. Start pushing the coolant through and getting all the air out and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna go on and off, like I said. So it's not gonna go on for a whole 12 minutes. So you will hear the intermediate back and forth. But let's see if we can get it here and maybe pick it up with the actual camera. I'll be back in 12 minutes and then we'll be good to go. All right guys, well the timer just went off. All you have to do is go ahead and come back here in your car. Whatever you had your heat settings on, go ahead and set those back to whatever you want to have them at. Once you get done with that, go ahead and hit your key. All right, you're gonna come over here. Go ahead and turn your battery charger off. You remove all your connections. Put that back there. Like I said, I didn't need to actually bleed my coolant. I was just doing this to show you guys. And we're good to go. Tighten it up, and that's it. You just completed the procedure. So guys, it's, it's a very easy process to do. Anyone can do it. Just make sure I have your battery charger course and some extra coolant so that way you can top it off. But other than that, it's easy. Do it at home, and you're good to go. So guys, as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll check you guys on the next video. Take care.